Well, Luke, a solid win tonight that sees us through to the semi-final. What are your thoughts? Yeah, it was a tough game. I thought it was um, very competitive. It was always going to be there up eight, nine mile up the road. And I know Jodini very well coming through the academies, playing against him under 18s level. I know he's, he demands and his teams resemble that. I felt that they um, put on a, a, yeah, a very positive performance on their part. I felt the first 20, 25 minutes, it was a non-event. We went 2-0 up. I felt really comfortable in the game. And then obviously the decision from our players to then go and allow them back into the fixture. Um, but I thought our game management, we learned a lot considering what we offered up on Saturday. I felt we played in the right areas. We went and occupied the breakdown very well. So yeah, on reflection, I'm, I'm very pleased. See what a start we made. It was superb, wasn't it? And a nice little passage of play between Gabriel and Bradley Ash for the finish. Yeah, I thought the run from Bradley was superb, finish was superb, but Rousel's picked up a loose ball sent with the park. He's dri driven at their left side centre half and yeah, the care on the pass for Bradley was superb. So in fairness you can't ask for more after three, four minutes on the clock. We then go and back it up with another goal and like I said I felt really comfortable and I felt that we were right in the ascendancy and it could have gone on to three and fours but I'm fortunate that we were allowing them back into the game and it was a little bit tighter than probably the performance suggested. I felt we managed it really well, we limited them to minimal opportunities and we had a couple of chances second half where Rousen probably could have scored from the, from the cross from Charlie Cooper. Um, I thought Kane Smith was amazing this evening, like he was always going to be full of adrenaline but overall the best, best result was that we didn't get any injuries, we're through to the semi-final, we got an opportunity against Chesham now. We'll touch on Kane Smith in a second, but just going to that second goal, you've got Murta, Cooper and Jamal Firefield standing over the ball and I don't think anyone quite expected Jamal to take the strike, let alone to send it to the net. He's got unbelievable ability. I've got to say, he, in training, when he does finishing drills, he's probably up there with the Shabus and the Roustons and Bradley Ashes of it. I think he has great care in and around the box. He's got a lovely left foot and fortunately, fortunately enough that Laurie has gone and seen it through his hands, but... Like you said, Kieran Mert has offered up that opportunity for him, especially when he goes and bends one out of barrel. So I didn't assume Jamal was going to take it. He has done, and fair play to him, he's put it in the back of the net. You've obviously got the opportunity to see a number of players start today who didn't start against Barrow. Have you been given a few headaches? Yeah, listen, I thought they'd done really well. It wasn't going to be an easy game. No matter what the Hemel were mid-table in the National South, they're coming here to get into a semi-final. They, they want, to, want to get to the Hart Senior Cup, and... For us, it's an opportunity to regain our title, and yeah, you look at the top side I put out, it was very, very strong. Manny Parry, obviously, coming at Barrow, dipped back out against um, on Saturday. So, for me, it shows the strength and depth we've got. We've got 19 fit players now, which includes Kane Smith. The likes of Idris Carney went in, Bradley Ash went in, Kane Smith started. So, yeah, I think that, that bodes well for us with regards to the last four games, including the Chesing game, that's five. And if we're lucky enough to beat them, we go into the final against St Albans. So everyone's going to need to be called upon. Um, and yeah, I, I thought that the professionalism this evening was very good. So it was a very audacious effort that would have been the envy of his namesake in the, in the National League. It was a hell of an attempt from Danny, Danny Rowe, wasn't it? No, listen, I thought it was superb finish. It was um, instinctive. He's nicked the ball off Charlie Cooper and he's dinked Ryan Hudd out from about 30 yards. So, yeah, listen, I thought it was a very instinctive finish. He's got ability, he was a QPR, he's a kid, I know him, I've got a lot of background on the boy. So, if it lands 21, you don't want it to land to him or Parks. And unfortunately, it landed to Danny Rowe and he's gone and put the ball in the back of the net. And it's given him a lift and saying that I didn't think that they warranted it to an extent. No disrespect to him, I felt we was very much in the ascendancy. I felt we was dictating the game and... Yeah, I, I didn't see past the 2-0 minimum, but that's football. You live by them, you, you learn by your mistakes, and hopefully we can eradicate that come Harrogate on Saturday. So you just moving on to Kane Smith, he got his first start today in nearly a year. So how big a moment was that for him? I've been there. I've been there, Danny Woodard has been there. You hear Danny Woodard when he's on the bench talking to Kane. He's, he, he has an affiliation with him because he's done his ACL. And if, if you've not done your ACL, you wouldn't really have the care. But... He has a standing ovation from the bench. That shows the work he's done, the man he is, the character he's got, and his performance was superb. But I expected nothing less. He's been chomping at the bit the last two, three weeks. He's been available to me, um, but I had to pick and choose my time because I didn't want to put him into a, an environment that was a little bit cagey because I don't want him to feel that there's any pressure on him. He needs to make sure that he's getting himself back into the mode of a National League fullback and 
probably should have only played him 60, 65 this evening. He's gone to 75, 77. So, yeah, I think that's a great return from him. Um, we'll see a backlash now, I think, Thursday, Friday. I think that you'll see with his glutes, his quads, his flies, his hammies, all them bits will start firing now because you can't replicate what he done this evening in a training game and, or training session. So, yeah, I'm over the moon for the kid because he's worked ever so hard. He's done his double sessions. He's been in when the players have been off and I think he's got the just rewards this evening. Obviously, it gave us tonight gave us a little bit of a break from the league, especially after what was a disappointing result against Sutton on the weekend. And it's a little bit of confidence going into Harrogate, isn't it? It's the start that I'm being run. I said to the boys, we need to make sure that we have a reaction from Sutton. I felt the performance was good. I felt that the last goal was criminal and we need to eradicate that. I spoke at length about the conceding goals we do in terms of the manner in which we let goals in is poor. But I thought we defended ever so well this evening. I felt we organised ever so well. And like I said, it was the start of an unbeaten run. We go to Harrow now with the agenda to go and get a result on the board. They're going to be tough. They play on a 4G. We're accustomed to it because we train on it. And we're prepared now, Thursday, Friday, to go up there and put on a performance to get a result. And yeah, it gives us confidence this evening. We've got and won a game of football 2-1 and I felt that it was comfortable in stages. It's engaged the group. It got majority of the boys that haven't been playing some game time and come Thursday, come to work, be ready. Harrogate becomes the focus.